Hi, welcome back to Colf KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Colf KRC. So I apologise before we start here for the noise in the background. 3D printing it won't be there all the time, only for this small bit of the video. So. As you probably saw the other week, I did a video on this and the coppice frame. So we're now going to finish the build on this. So what we're going to do, what I intend to do is build this up and put a GoPro on the top of this. And obviously the parts that I showed the other day. So we're going to use these NIN 23065 motors. Come on, focus. I'm going to focus today. No, not focusing. So we're going to use, there you go, we're going to use these motors. These are the 2306 2450 KV motors, so we're going to run this on a 4S obviously, so we're going to use these motors, we're going to use the Kakute stack, which is a simple one for this, so it's, all you've got to do on this one is <coughs> solder it, ESC wires on in your battery terminal, which you don't get with it actually, it's weird not getting one, and obviously put in my receiver onto these pins here. So this is a very simple board. If you don't, if you have the DJI Air unit and you have the transmitter, that's, you wouldn't even need to put the receiver onto this. You simply connect this, stick the wire into here, and the wire into the DJI Air unit, and off you go. So really, a simple, very simple build. If you're actually doing it that way, comes this board's a fantastic little board. Uh, I, I'll probably do a more in-depth video on this board at some point because I've got another one of these. But yeah, fantastic. So that's what we're putting in here, and we're going to use the Gem Fan Flashes, the whiskey coloured 6042s, and put an XM Plus into it. So, what I intend to do now, I'll go fit the motors, and I will install the ESC and I'll solder them on, and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. This, this, what you're supposed to do on this is bring the wires under here and solder them into the um, ESC. I do not want to cut these wires really because I want to put this on. This is going to be stripped and put onto the coppice frame. But what I'll do is I'll have a measure and if I can cut them I will. But if not I'll try and bring them under and back out again. But I'll sort something out. So I'll come back with that bit in a couple of minutes. So I've got the stack mount. I've gone a bit further than I said I would. I've got carried away. So we've got the well, we've got the um, board in there. I brought the wires around. The, there's a lot of wires as you can see. But I didn't want to cut the motor wires down because I intended to take these motors off and put them on a coppice. I have changed my mind on that and we're going to build the coppice from scratch and we get a new the DJI Air unit and we're just going to have the coppice on this because I want to be able to compare the two. So we're going to build the coppice up with different motors. I think it's a bit big for that anyway. So this one's going to stay as it is. So as you can see we've got it in. Very neat build. I brought the cable out the back here. So this is the bit where your GPS unit would go. You'll see it when it's built. I've made an addition. So this battery cable will come up where that was so there's no battery in the way these are the only three wires you need to solder and they're for the receiver which I've tucked under there it's an XM plus and I brought them out through these you don't get these with these little tubes and I've got the stack connected to there and that is the wire for your air unit so what I need to do now is go connect it up to B to fly and this is the new air unit never been used so I need to configure that with DJI so they know what it is and then I'll show it you built up. So this is the build completed. As you can see it's all together now. So the top plate's gone on. As you can see I used the holder for the GPS to bring the battery power up. Now it's a good way of doing this but you have to file out the back of the boat. It's got enough room to push a cable through but it's going to cut through your cable so you have to just file away at the carbon on the top plate to get this to come up through and I put a bit of um, a bit of fibre tape like even the arms on there just so it can't do anything and you can just pick up and plug your battery and it's well out of the way so it was set up on beta flight and I've done the similar thing it's on a three, uh, three position switch for your, my modes so I'll have my modes on this switch I've set the beeper up on there so you have to make sure you turn them on the beacons on and then I have arm on this one now I am contemplating on the coppice when I build it so when I build this one I'll put in GPS on here as well this has got a bottom mount battery so I can put the GPS unit on the top so this one probably will have the DJI unit but it'll also have FPV 
Uh, sorry, GPS. What am I talking about? Because it's going to have a normal flight stack and I'm not using the Kakuti in the next one to build. Uh, the Kakuti is a good, a good um, board, but I think if you want an F7 board, you can buy a cheaper one and just do it yourself with a wiring because it's only three wires and that's all you're saving on this. But it does make your build really neat because you can't see the kit. Because because of the ESC pads are stepped back a little bit. If you bring your wires out the back, you can't see them. I've obviously got the GoPro mount on the front, a TPU print. I'm going to have a review on this printer that I just printed. You heard on the noise of it <laughs> on the first bit of the video. I'm going to have a review on this. This printer that's printed this and all the other TPU bits I got is under a hundred quid, and it has no setup whatsoever. It's auto auto line. Auto align, you do nothing to it, you simply turn it on, power it up, feed your filament in and it prints. And it prints decent. I, I only print rough on these because I don't bother printing them at high res because there's a good chance I can crash. And this is normally the first thing that breaks, so you just sort of come and print another one. So the build, yeah, it was easy. It was made easier by that, of course, because I had to put less wires in. But like I say, I wouldn't have bothered otherwise. I probably wouldn't have bothered on having... It's set up now. Let's see what the total weight is. So this is in flying weight because I've got a 4S LiPo on here. I think I've got a 4S 1300 which is probably what I fly on. I might actually fly it on a 15. So let's just set this. If you can see that's coming at 665 grams so it's quite heavy but it is a freestyle quad and obviously this isn't made for thrashing about this is purely made for this one's purely made for me i could obviously make it light by taking the gopro off and it probably will go up a few grams because i'm going to probably like a 15 rather than this but yeah i really like it i think it's a stunning looking quad i like these props uh, these props are the gem fan and uh, these colour were whiskey ones, I bought whiskey ones to try and match the gold somehow. Um, but yeah it's great, you can buy a GoPro mount from Flywoo and it comes with a GoPro mount and it also comes with the bits that go on the bottom of your arms, I think it's 18 quid. There was no way I was going to spend 18 quid on that so I just printed my own and I probably Oh, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll bother with any arm protectors. But yes, like I said before, in the first part of the video, I was going to strip this again and put this into the coppice. We're not doing that now. So we're going to put a normal stack in the coppice and we're going to put the DJI unit above it. I'm going to buy another DJI unit. So we're not taking the one out of this. And also, and I'm not sure what motors I'm going to put on this. I've got a few in mind. I've got some, some different ones in mind that I've got to put on this. But they're probably going to be 2306, uh, probably 2750 kV, and that's going to be good for four rest. This is an extremely light frame, by the way. So I think this is a this is great. I think it's a winner. I think it's expensive. This build, obviously, they had the air units because they came in with the uh, goggles when I bought it. I bought the pack with two. But this is probably, you're looking at 320 quid for this build, not including the GoPro and the battery obviously. So it is quite expensive, it's not cheap at all, but I do like it. So coming up I've also got the, I had the DC5, I don't know if you've seen, if you've seen the DC5 video, I'm sure it's been up by now. So I have the DC5 with the air unit in also, which is... Sorry for this. This is the DC5. Obviously, I haven't seen the video. I have a video on this, and they've got the flight video and everything on this. So the full videos have been up for this. There will be more videos coming. I absolutely love this thing. But I bought the DC3, which is the three-inch version. But I bought it complete. So I bought the bind and fly version that comes with uh, XSR receiver, the unit, the air unit's already built into it, and we're going to see what that's like. That's just definitely a buy and fly it. I do prefer building but the price was decent. I think it was 275 quid which isn't bad considering an air unit 175. So that's what's coming up very shortly on the channel but for now I'll have a flight footage as soon as I can on this. The weather in the UK is not great at the minute as you're probably aware. So I'll have the flight video up very shortly but yes so do I recommend it? I recommend, do I recommend the stack? It's a great stack and if you want ease, I think it's good. But if you're wanting a stack, 
and you're not bothered about putting your wires on, no, probably wouldn't go for this, and I wouldn't buy another one, I doubt. It doesn't come with cable, it doesn't come with your cable for your batteries, you have to have your own, I had like, I've got a set of these, but you have to put your own battery cable on, comes with the capacitor. But yeah, I'm not saying I'd highly recommend this. The frame I do like, I had a bit of a messing around as I probably told you in the first video. Now, I must point out, if you're watching this and you've bought this frame, I know it's people on Banggood have said they bought the frame and it doesn't come with these, they thought it had come with these and it's a bit uh, misleading as the advert. They should come with these. I've been told officially by Flywoo that they've boxed them wrong. So if you're watching this, you contact Flywoo, tell them you bought it and they will send you these out. I have these sent in four days. You should get these two pieces here and this back unit. In the box, I bet, I presume you've already got the camera. Because that's all I got in mind, the camera unit, and I contacted them. And you get these. And you really, these are better to have, obviously. You could, I was going to just build it without them and bring the antennas up the side but I thought no they need to be sending me them so let's see what it goes like with these motors these feel really nice I've had a quick hover of it and it hovers really nice uh, and it's not got too much noise it has a lot of, there's a lot of lift off these props I'll tell you that because I've tested it inside and there's quite a lot of lift so thanks ever so much for watching keep watching my channel please do subscribe please do hit that like button and obviously hit the notification bell because I have a lot of I have a lot of views that aren't from people that are subscribed to me and it does make a massive difference just hit the button and subscribe I've got some great content coming up and we're very much focusing on this type of thing and also the camera drone side of it so that's all have a great day Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.